Welcome back to my channel, you guys. I'm Natasha. If you're new here, and if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe now and click that notification bell so that you never miss another video from me. And we're just gonna go ahead and jump into this video. So today, I am testing out these Shein sponges. I got them for, well, 10 of them for $5, but I got them for $3.71 because I had a coupon. Of course, Shein always has coupons. So yeah, 10 of them come in this little container. And so fresh out, I've already washed them because I cannot, you know, you don't want to just start putting products or things on your face and you haven't cleaned them. So clean them before you use them. But yeah, they've already been washed and this is how big they are, fresh out of the pack. And this is them wet because I did wet two of them so that we can use those today. So this is the wet ones, this is dry, fresh out of the pack. So yeah, we're gonna test them out to see if they're as good as the Beauty Blender because y'all know that Beauty Blender is $20 and that's for one, literally one sponge and I got 10 of these. We're gonna see if they work just as well as the Beauty Blender. So I can't find the pink one, but I do have this black one right here. And again, they're both dry and you can see the Beauty Blender is smaller than the Shein one. Yeah, I just wanna test it out and see if it works as good as the Beauty Blender and if it's worth my little $5 that I paid <laughs> um, to get these. So let's just jump into the video. I'm trying to figure out which foundation I wanna use. I picked up some new products. Um, I picked up this and I picked up this, um, but I think I got the wrong shade in this Good Apple. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we could finesse it. What do y'all think I should take it back? Mm. I think I can finesse this. I hope I can finesse this because I honestly don't even know what the receipt is for this. So we're gonna try it. This is just a whole, you know, test. We'll see if this foundation works and if these sponges work. So yeah, let's just get into it. I already primed my face as you guys know, um, but before, we start with the face. I need to prep my brows. Okay, um, y'all, yeah, I'm going to <laughs> go ahead and try this shade. I mean, because I'm looking at it on camera. It doesn't look too bad. I just, I don't know. And like I said, I can't find the receipt, so we're just gonna go for it. I mean, even if it is too light, I can bronze it up. So this is what the shade looks like. I mean, looking at it, it doesn't look like it's too bad, but again, you never know until you put it on your face. So this is the shade. I mean, I guess it's okay. I don't know, it's giving, it's giving light skin. We'll see if it doesn't work, you know, I'll still keep it in my collection. So we're gonna take the sheet in sponge that's already damp and dip. Oh my God, that is light. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to finesse this. <laughs> mm. We'll we'll fix it. Maybe it'll darken up as I go. This is giving. Uh, oh gosh. For some reason, it looks, it's giving muddy. I mean, I guess it doesn't look terrible, but I feel like I definitely could have or should have gotten a darker shade. So you put this on, I'm just tapping into the product and 
tapping onto my face, pouncing the product into the skin. I mean, it's not terrible, y'all, but it's not my color, my shade. But it's all good. The sponge, however, is actually doing pretty good putting the foundation on my skin. But yeah, this definitely is not my shade. Don't worry, we'll fix it. I do like the way it feels on my skin. It feels like there's nothing really on my skin. It's definitely not giving me full coverage. I'm just trying to really blend this in because it's not my shade <laughs> and I don't want to look crazy. I mean, I guess it's not terrible. I don't know. We're just gonna continue on and you know, this is what the sponge is looking like after putting the foundation on. So for concealer, I'm using my Oma Beauty Woke Concealer. And take the sponge and blend out the concealer. And then switch back to the side that you blended out your foundation with and just make sure there's no harsh edges.
Okay. Now let's contour our face, <laughs> y'all. I mean, I guess I'm being dramatic. Y'all let me know in the comments if it looks terrible, be honest. <laughs> wow. Anyway, we're gonna contour with um, this black opal skin perfecting stick foundation in the shade Sweet Espresso. And we're gonna take the other side of the beauty sponge to blend out the contour. That really doesn't even exist. I feel like I need something darker. And then go over it with the foundation side. Let's just go ahead and set. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent Honey. Um, I'm gonna use the damp sponge to do this as well. Just gonna tap some out. This is just the travel size because I'm just testing it out and I didn't know how I would like it. And I'm gonna use a clean sponge to do the setting, but it's also damp. So pick up the product, tap off the excess steel, and then go under your eye. and everywhere else that you put your highlight shade. I 
I like that setting powder. I think that made a big difference in the way that my face was looking. All right, now let's set the contour that doesn't really exist, but let's set it anyway with the Black Radiance, um, Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Black Coffee. This is the shade, it's pretty dark. Um, I'm gonna use my little angled brush to do so. And I need it to be dark because my face is giving light. It's coming together. Still not my favorite, you know, shade of foundation, but it definitely looks better. You don't see myself using that ever again. Unless I get a better shade because This shade is just not doing what I needed to do. Okay, just like when I um, am using a brush, I like to go over everything again with my foundation brush. I'm gonna do that with the sponge. Let's go ahead and set the rest of our face. And I'm gonna set it with my Maybelline Fit Me in 355 Okay, so this is what the face is looking like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Spray. Taking my sponge and just pressing in those white dots that come from the foundation, I mean from the spray. That spray seems to have brought it together. I'm gonna add some blush to Add a little color to our face. And I'm just using my e.l.f. Always Rosy blush and my Morphe and Ariel A58 brush. This is like the perfect brush to apply your blush. I'm tapping off the rest of the back of my hand because you don't want to put too much on. Now I'm going to finish my brows, add some lashes and do my lips and I'll be right back to let you know my thoughts on the sponges and this foundation that <laughs> we struggled with today. But hey, it's all about learning. It's a journey. So 
the process. Yeah. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look using these makeup sponges from Shein to create this look. I guess it turned out okay in the end, but y'all saw it was a struggle, mainly because of the foundation that I chose to use today. I was using this Good Apple um, in the shade Tan 074. This is not my shade. It's not. I mean, I made it work, I guess. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments, whether I made it work or not, but I do know that I could have gotten a darker shade in this foundation. And I mean, I could go back and get, an, you know, I probably will go back and get another shade in it because I did like the consistency of it. But on the other hand, I didn't like that it was like giving me a shine to my face, but the focus was these sponges. I think they did the job. I mean, I use this one way more, so it's dirty, but um, they seem to be pretty good. I guess I need to do a comparison between the um, actual beauty blender and then these Shein sponges, but for $5 to get 10 of them, I think that's a bargain and really good because I do actually like the way that it blended out my makeup today. I think my face looks nice. I just don't like the shade too much of the foundation, but the sponges did do their job. Um, and again, you get 10, you get the ones that have the flat edge as well as the rounded ones. And I like the color, of course, y'all know I like um, neutral colors because that's just me, I have a problem. I mean, this purple isn't bad. This is probably the brightest color that they have and maybe this one but I like these colors other than that I really do like these sponges I will link them in the description box if you want to go and purchase them again they were only five dollars but I got them for three dollars and seventy one cent because Shein always has coupons so go ahead and click that link and purchase these sponges I literally bought these sponges on my own so this isn't a sponsored video at all but I just wanted to put you guys on to some good sponges even though this is my first time trying them, I do really like them and I will continue to use them. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you tried this Good Apple foundation, if you like it, um, if you're near my shade or my complexion, let me know what shade you got in the foundation. And yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.